All right, in today's Midday Fix, a new use for a food that's a favorite for many people. Chef Jose Morales is here from LG's Bar and Kitchen making bacon jam. That's right. I said bacon. Attention, bacon. <laughs> Who doesn't like bacon? Chef, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for having us. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing here, and we'll talk about the place, too. So we're doing a little bit of bacon jam, so who doesn't like bacon, right? Right. It's absolutely so it's it's universal. As it starts, just a couple of board, board cooks mm -hmm. uh, playing around with the ingredients that were left over. So we're going to start with a little bacon. going to render the fat. A little olive oil? Yeah, a little olive oil okay. in the pan. There you go. So we're going to get the fat rendering. Is that high heat? Yeah, medium high. Okay. We got a little bit of pre-cooked, so whatever bacon you have left over from any other recipes will work. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with a little bit of onion. At the same time. At the same time, just get the flavors going. Okay. And a little bit of red bell pepper as well. How do you like your bacon cooked? Um, on the crisp side? From one to 10, probably about eight. You know, I like it a little pliable, but definitely a little bit of crisp to it. Got it, not burnt. Not burnt, definitely not burnt. Okay. So we're gonna render the fat. Once everything gets translucent, nice and soft, and incorporated together. So the backstory on this chef is, you know, 10 years ago, yep. you said, let's do something with these leftovers. Right. And uh, again, bacon as the, kind of the main character. And it just, what, did it happen that night, or was it, did you have to progress? Uh, we had the, the initial part of that night, but we, need, we knew we wanted to do a little bit more. Yeah. So it ended up being kind of a hybrid between a chutney and a jam. So I smell it. Smells we uh, we had a little bit more savoriness to it with a little bit of vinegar. Okay. So apple cider is going to go in. Apple cider vinegar. Yep. And you can use any that you have in house, like red wine, champagne. Uh, just a touch and a few. Yeah, and a, just a touch. Okay. A couple of tablespoons of each. And it's also going to deglaze the pan. I see. And then uh, as, as part of one of just one offering at LG's. Yep. Uh, at, which is a fantastic place. Right in the to, heart of Old Town. To check out a football game. Yep. Or whatever. Yeah, we do have the Big Ten on Saturdays. All day football on Sundays, and we have a brunch themed, uh, country themed brunch on Sunday too. NFL so. on Sunday. Yep. Uh, a little brown sugar. Yeah, just to uh, get the syrup going. Now this is all coming together now. And of course, we're gonna season a little bit of salt and pepper. Now the idea is to kind of make this into, is a paste the correct way? Yeah. So the correct term that we use is nappe, which is if you take the back of a spoon, kind of drag it across, and you see it's starting to kind of get sticky. Okay. That's kind of what we're looking for. And last but not least, our favorite, a little bit of Irish whiskey. All right, you got we are attention. an Irish bar after all. Okay. Irish owned. So. Slantia. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then over here, we have a little bit of the a burger going. Like you got some cheddar here? Yeah, Irish cheddar. I like the cheddar. Then we're going to do a little bit of water. Just get some steam going to melt that cheese. Right. And then once that's done, we're going to top it off. There we have it. And you can you serve it on, we were talking, a variety of different kinds of things. You put it on a bun, you put it on some crackers every now and then. Yeah, with it's holiday like, season coming up too, maybe like a baked brie, or like an en croute. Um, charcuterie board would be awesome to entertain some people. Oh, that smells so good, Chef. Yep. Tell us a little bit else, uh, else about what you have to offer at LG's. So we have a good collection of everything. Uh, we have gourmet salads, we have wings with different flavors, uh, a couple signature burgers, some handhelds. So anything you want, need, we have it. Are we ready to plate this? Yeah, we are. Plate so, this bad boy. All right. So we're going to take our burger here. Uh-huh. Going to go in, right on top. Whoop, whoop. Taking a step back. Yeah, there we go. Maestro at work. Yeah, there we go. OK. Yep. Our bacon jam. Oh, so you go right over the cheese yeah. with that. It's going to help it melt a little bit more. OK. That uh, looks so delicious. There we go. And then however you want to spread it yeah, around the so garden. I do the top is on the side, so you just build it as well as you want. That looks fantastic. Awesome. Uh, so I'm going to take a bite here, but first I'm going to tell you that LG's Bar and Kitchen is on North Well Street in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Check out social media for more information or lgsbar.com. You have a variety of Irish whiskeys there too? We do. Okay, that's important. You can't go just one brand. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. I'm going to take a bite.